Hello everyone. This is Mohammad Ijaz Ahmed from CSIRO Stata 61. And I am excited to talk about our recent work on wise liveness detection. This work is done in collaboration with Singing One University and Samsung Research. Popular voice assistants such as Siri, Alexa, or Google Now allow people's people's voice to quickly shop online, make phone calls, or use various banking services, and so on. Research estimates that by 2023, there will be as many as 275 million voice assistants in our homes, which is 1,000% uh, increase compared to 2018. However, due to the open nature of voice assistance input channel, adversary can exploit this and launch various forms of voice presentation attacks, such as voice replay attack or voice synthesis attack. Voice replay attack is a simple kind of attack in which an adversary records victims' use of voice assistant and replay them. This is the easiest attack to perform, but it's most difficult to detect as the voice characteristic of recorded voice are similar to that of victim's live voice. Voice synthesis attacks are based on this target speech model, which takes text as input and synthesize the speech for the spoofing attacks. Here are some of the news items that show vulnerability in voice assistance. Alexa orders an expensive dollhouse when a child asks the device to play with her. Similarly, Burger King's triggers uh, Google Home, uh, Google Home by just a TV ad. So such kind of incidents are expected to increase with the uh, increase of voice assistance in our homes. So voice liveness detection is actually the system or AI that detects if the voice that is received is from the live human or it is from the loudspeakers. It also resembles to like the Turing test that was proposed by Alan Turing in 1950. So before designing any uh, solution, there are certain requirements from industry that should be met. Our uh, conversation with speech recognition engineers from a big IT company revealed that strict requirements regarding latency and model size must be considered before deploying any machine learning services. For example, the processing delay must be less than 100 milliseconds or a single GPU may be expected to concurrently process 100 or more voice sessions. More importantly, on-device implementations are also considered this because this will reduce the extra burden on remote server, the communication latency, and most importantly, the privacy issues concerning the voice samples is, would also be addressed here. As far as detection accuracy is considered, 10% or below EER uh, should be usable, a usable solution. Our contribution here is to, to make a solution that is fast, lightweight, and easily implementable in commercial devices. Void is a solution which takes only 97 features and a single machine learning model, and which is robust against different environmental settings. We evaluated our approach on two large data sets consisting of 250, more than 250 voice samples from 120 participants and more than 18,000 samples, which consist of 42 participants. Void achieves 0.3% and 11.6% EER respectively on both the datasets. Void is eight times more faster and uses 153 times less memory compared to the best performing solution in ASP spoof competition. We also show that voice is resilient against adversarial attacks, such as hidden voice attack, inaudible voice commands, voice synthesis attacks, and equalization attacks. In all those attacks, voice, voice achieves more than 86% accuracy. Here we discuss key insights that are used in void for attack detection. One of them is the decay pattern in spectral power. 
the left side of figure one shows the spectrogram of a of a live voice, which shows that most of the power is actually concentrated below one kilohertz. Where on the right hand side of figure one shows the accumulated power per frequency pattern. We observe there is an exponential decay, decay in power pattern below one kilohertz. However, in figure two show the spectrogram of the replayed voice from a smartphone loudspeaker. We, we can see in the spectrogram that the power is uniformly, seems to be uniformly distributed between zero and five kilohertz. On the right hand side, the figure shows the accumulated power per frequency. So we, we can see the decay pattern in replayed voice is somehow linear. So this kind of our, our experimentation with more than 11 uh, inbuilt speakers from different vendors show similar characteristics. So there's another key insight about peak patterns in spectral power. We see in live human, there are more peaks compared to that of loudspeakers. And also the loudspeaker signals that are given in the red dashed line are more undeterministic or it's hard to predict. However, in live human case, it could be predicted and they show somehow similar pattern. Such a patterns could be used for detecting voice life, uh, live voices. Here is the overall overview of wide, which takes into account the voice sample and then convert it into spectrogram and then per accumulated power per frequency vector is obtained. This vector is used to compute power linearity degree features, high power frequency features, low frequency power features. In addition to that, that we use LPCC features as the complementary features to further improve voice performance. All the feature vectors are combined and SVM model is trained for real-time attack detection. Our data collection consists of two major data sets. One is collected by ourselves and a second we use ASP spoof 2017 competition data set. Our data set consists of 53% male voices, male participants, and our total 120 participants were recruited. And we divided each participants into different age groups and performed experiments for ASV food data set consists of three sets, training, development, and evaluation. In our evaluation, we combine training and development set and train the SVM model for evaluation. So the, here is the summary of both the data set in terms of live samples, attack samples, participants, speakers, and configurations. Our evaluation shows the that the word achieves superior performance on both the data sets. For example, in our data set, it achieves 0.3% EER, and with ASP spoof data set, it achieves 11.6% EER. Also, our word achieves good performance with variances such as gender or distances between the attacker and the speaker, and uh, some cross-training data set. Please refer to our paper for more details on those experiments. Here is the shows the lightweight nature of WIRED in terms of time and memory. We see that the testing time for WIRED is less than one second, which is equal to 35 milliseconds. And the number of features of WIRED are 97 and the memory taken is 1.9 M, 1.9 MB which makes it an ideal choice for on-device implementation and it seems extremely light for attack detection compared to other approaches. It achieves 11.6% EER. Here we show the top 10 performing uh, approaches in ASV spoof competition in terms of their EER and they show the features and classifiers used by them so white would stand at second position with EER 11.6% in this competition. We also checked white as ensemble solutions since MFCC and inter filter bank features are already available in smartphones where the speech recognition services are deployed. We can 
use those those features with void and achieve an 8.7 percent eer with no additional cost here we show the adversarial attacks against void we show a hidden voice commands hidden voice commands are com referred to the command that are not inter cannot be interpreted by human ears but they are interpreted and processed by voice assistants we consider inaudible voice commands such as dolphin attack which is uh, in which an ultrasound speaker is used and the frequency range of higher than 20 kilohertz are used voice synthesis attack we use and we use e equalization manipulation attack which is manually crafting uh, voice samples uh, by adjusting certain frequencies using linear filters and launching those attacks our results shows that void achieves more than 86% accuracy on all those attacks by achieving 99% accuracy on hidden command in audible command it achieves 100% accuracy and voice synthesis it achieves 90% accuracy and so on we can see that for the samples that used for those attacks were generated separately because of the attacks the dynamicity uh, and those test samples were tested in a real time. There are two limitations if regarding the voice, which is like high voice performance may degrade over high quality speakers because these kind of speakers remove most of the noises and make the voice as similar to the live human voices. So voice performance may degrade over with high quality speakers. And equalization attack show that by carefully crafting voice sample can bypass wide however such attack would require a strong signal processing expertise in conclusion we show that the it is a lot wide is a lightweight approach which takes on only 97 feature and does not require any additional hardware it uses only single classifier it takes 35 milliseconds to perform the decision and it's ideal for your own device implementation it's efficient and we show 0.3 percent eer and 11.6 percent eer in terms of performance on two data sets and was uh, quite resilient against adversarial attacks as well thank you very much and any questions please